Hey everybody, let's talk about how to connect your MacBook to your new BenQ interactive display. And to do that, it's really quite easy. It's only a few steps, it's not too hard. Let's just go through it right now. Step one, you're gonna wanna turn on your BenQ TV. And so to do that, if we look at the different buttons on the bottom of your BenQ, you'll notice the power button is this one right here. So I'm gonna tap that power button. The BenQ is gonna go ahead and power up when it's ready, it looked like this. If it's the first time turning it on in a while, it'll take about 30 seconds to load up. And now we are going to connect our MacBook. So you will either have one USB-C connector like this for your docking station, or you will have two USB-C connectors. And I'll show you what that looks like right now. If you have two USB connectors instead of one, it's going to look like this. It's the same functionality as a single connector. However, if you have two, you're simply going to plug both USB connectors into both USB-C ports on the side of your MacBook, just like so, and then you will have full functionality. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you have one USB-C connector or two, the functionality is gonna be the same. Those USB connectors are gonna plug right here to the side of your MacBook. If you have one, it doesn't matter which port it goes into. If you have two, you do need to plug both in. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this one in. Give me one second. Okay, now we have that USB-C connection plugged in. My MacBook looks like this, but my BenQ does not yet mirror my MacBook. So let's talk about that. Before we do that, I want you to see what the docking station itself looks like. It looks like this. And if your docking station is not working correctly, chances are the power's off. Here's the power button. If that blue light is not lit up, you're gonna need to go ahead and press that power button. And you're gonna wanna leave this on as much as possible. Okay, so now my MacBook is connected. However, you'll notice that the BenQ does not display the same as the MacBook. So we're gonna talk about how to slide the MacBook screen over to the BenQ. First thing you have to do on the BenQ is set the connection. It's very, very easy. Simply gonna come up to the BenQ. You can do this with your finger. You're going to tap the connection button and you'll notice one of these HDMI options will be highlighted. You're gonna click the highlighted HDMI option. So I'm gonna tap this one. And now you'll notice that my BenQ is an extended version of the Mac. It's not mirroring the Mac. And I'm gonna swing over and show you my, ex my external monitor on my desk. And you'll notice that monitor, external monitor, is the same screen as the BenQ. So next let's talk about how to get this screen over here to the BenQ.